Well, hello everybody, how are you, how are you? Yes, my name is Wayne, and you're still watching Inside Montclair, and you might be wondering where I am right now. As a matter of fact, so am I. But I have a feeling these three people who aren't quite sure that they want to talk to me might have something to do with it. A little intro for us. Say, say hi to everybody. Hi, and of course we want to talk to you. I'm Susanna Baker, I'm the Executive Director of Studio Montclair, and welcome to the Leech Gallery, our newest edition. And we're going to talk more about that in a second. Yes. And sir? Ed Remsen, President of the Board of Trustees and Designated Painter. Designated <laughs> Painter. There's probably another story to that. We'll come back. And you, Patty? <laughs> and I'm Patty Jordan. I'm the Chair of the Exhibitions Committee for Studio Montclair. And I am an assistant painter here at the gallery. I know we have artists, but I don't know if that's the right title. Okay. <laughs> One, we're still celebrating 25 years here. But we are in a new location. Just your thoughts about that. Tell everybody where we are, too. We're at the Leach Gallery, which is at 641 Bloomfield Avenue, um, and it's just really exciting. It's a brand new space um, in addition to our space down by Pine Street on 127. So that's still there Bloomfield too. Avenue. Oh, of course. That, that can never go away. Nope, that's our flagship. That's your flagship, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I understand that uh, just having the thought of this now being open has got to be pretty exciting. Well, it's huge. I mean, we we got lucky. We've been working very closely with Dave Plasek from BDP Holdings, who's the developer of Lackawanna Plaza and in the course of discussing a number of other projects with him in terms of art, we got to discuss the space and we said, what are you doing with that space? And he said, well, nothing right now. And we said, we were looking for a new home for our incubator, for our emerging artist. And he said, look, if you're willing to assume some responsibility for fixing it up, you can have the space for as long as the building is up and empty. So we jumped on that, and over the last couple of months, with uh, a grant from the Business Improvement District, some great volunteers, et cetera, we developed this space into a 3,000-square-foot gallery. And today's our first show. I'm as excited as I could possibly be, just because I know how important it is to have and support art in Montclair. It's been that way for a long time. And Studio Montclair has been in the forefront for many years. Your thoughts about being in this location now, Patty? This is so wonderful, the 3,000 foot space that we've put together here from scratch basically is going to allow so many more opportunities for our current artists and others, but it's going to also offer expanded opportunities, as Ed was saying, such as incubator programs, which will allow emerging artists and young artists a chance to exhibit in a space of this, uh, of this size and in this grandeur. And the exciting thing about this particular exhibit is that um, it also is not just a local exhibit, it includes um, members and artists that are on a global reach. So I understand there's about four or 5,000 people showing today. Is that the story? Uh, well, it feels that way. We have about 183 member artists who have work displayed here. That many? They oh. represent only about 40% of our paid membership. That's how big we've grown. Oh, wow. And because of the technology, people can be a member and be in our shows without having to be physically local. We, we, we are still called, and will be still called Studio Montclair, but we're really a regional agency at this point. And we have artists and, and partners uh, and organizations we work with from a several county area. And this is this is the biggest show we've ever staged. And and the only reason it is is because we never had the space for a show like this. Well, I think one of the things that's good about buildings in town, eventually they get filled with things we actually like to see. Yeah. I mean, I, I've been around for a while, and you know, some emptiness is not the best, but to fill it with art. On this level, it's fantastic. Make the space a really active art space. It's really exciting. Yeah. Um, it, it, it. And I, I don't really have anything else to add except this is our yeah. biggest show ever. It's super exciting. Um, Wait, one of the things that we're excited about is this end of Bloomfield Avenue is a busy area, but it never really had the foot traffic. You didn't have the residential units. So all of a sudden, we're in a part of town where there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of new people living across the street. And all of a sudden, we're at a very busy place. The hotel is close by, so we yeah, expect right. to get an enormous amount of foot traffic of people saying, what's in there? And they'll come in here, and they'll give us ideas, and they'll join or not, and they'll think about projects that we can do with the community. So there's almost endless possibilities at this location. Well, I think art has no endless possibilities, and I think the three of you, along with quite a few other people, really are making this happen. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to let you guys sort of get back to getting ready for the doors to open. I'm going to hang out and maybe chat with some artists and some people that have helped put all this together. How's that sound? Okay? okay? All right, folks. Stay with me. Don't go away. Well, we just had an opportunity of chatting with a few people. Suzanne, ex-mayor, Ed, and Patty. 
And they were talking about how much energy it took to actually put this together. And I'm not sure, well, I think these people might want to talk to me, but the idea is you guys both helped me put it together a little bit. We did. We did. Yeah, I'm sure there's yeah. a lot more than two of you. First of oh, all, there's a huge crowd. Introduce yourself. Who you be? What you My mean? name is Mary Kohler. Okay, and you are? I'm Miranda Lopez. Now, I don't know how long it took to get to this part. Give me some feedback what I was like trying to put it all together and some of the people. Well, it was a dusty mess, and by the time we got here, they had painted the walls, they had done a whole lot of work, but there was nothing on the walls. It was just kind of an old, dusty space. So, kind of we, like a warehouse, you know, just very... I saw some pictures that were like bare, empty, and it looked like a huge warehouse. So to have that look anything like this, all I can say is like, wow. I know, it was amazing. We, we're having the glory of coming in a little bit later. There were so many people that put this together. They worked hours and hours to design what the look of the show would be I like. I just getting the lighting set up to be pleased. Just the lighting. But there's so many art there's so many art pieces here. So to bring them all together so it looked really beautiful, to curate it was a big job. You know, speaking and that of happened before. Speaking of art, I understand that you may have a piece here. I do have a piece here. And it happens to be right here. Folks, did you notice how cool that you were on the queue there, huh? Yes. Tell me, what am I looking at? That looks like a good place to hang out. Yeah, well, this is a part of a series, and it's done in a technique called Rizai, which is a process where um, in the those arts period, artists would start their paintings using gray. Is this some place that actually exists, by the way? It does, and it exists is it right your here backyard? in Montclair. It is. But the piece isn't necessarily about my backyard, it's about everybody's backyard. No, I understand that. That looks yeah. like about 20 of my friends, exactly where they live. Sure, but you know, we spent a lot of time indoors, and I think our houses. And I have to say that the one splash of color, oh. I think is fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, silk am I looking at perhaps? Yeah, yeah, that is the splash of love and dash of great things. A splash of love, huh? Yeah, yes, so yeah. Nice. Well, thank you for chatting with me just for a thank minute. Thank you. Thank you to you and everybody else that got involved with making this worthwhile. I'm going to have one more chat with another person putting it together and then hang out and enjoy the 25th anniversary in the Indian location. Don't go away. All right, we just had an opportunity to speak with some of the people involved. And I know I said hello to you before about helping put some of this together, but now let's talk about your work, which I think is right here. Tell me about this nice layout. Yeah, hi. This is um, this is a self portrait that started. It's as a self portrait. You don't look like. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't it's see red. An abstract expressionist self portrait. It's an abstract self portrait. Yes. What's what's the medium here? Um, I use alcohol inks as well as different pens and metallics. Um, this is kind of just about. Um, Loosening up kind of all of the different things going on over the past few years um, and really just getting a lot of emotion out onto paper. Um, I feel like this is a reflection of a lot of the ups and downs that we've been going through, that I've been going through. That's why no, no, you're not by yourself. When I look at this, I say to myself, my life sometimes in my days have hills and valleys, have a lot of different colors coming through. Yeah. How do you feel about one, having worked on the room, and two, having it open and having somebody work show? I mean, it's always a pleasure to be working with Studio Montclair. Uh, the group of people is absolutely wonderful, and we had a fantastic day. I was here setting up, um, trying to drill into walls, trying to get everything done, um, but we did it. We did it. A large team of people got, got it done. And, um, and here we are. Yeah. So do you happen to learn some new carpentry skills, by the way? Um, I've learned a little... You learned a little bit about putting things together. Well, the room is delicious. Thank you for chatting with me for a little while. Everyone's starting to walk in. Go mingle for a second. Folks, wonderful. Don't go away. Alright, folks. Obviously, you can tell that everybody is uh, starting to show up. And I'm still going to try and talk with one more person. I hope you get a chance to hear me because this is another person who also helped me, I think, help on getting the room together. And you're right over here. And she's, 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 say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. And who's you, what's your name? Oh, my name is Lori Poutine. And I'm uh, very happy to be a part of this fantastic show. To me, she's not animated, right, folks? You know what I'm saying? Now, you were part of also helping to work on getting this all together a little bit. Yeah. What was that like? Oh, it was actually, this was kind of 
alchemical and magical because um, really? one of the th yeah because as it was being curated by Ginny and by by Pam like it just came together in such a great way. It actually took quite a few months, I understand. Didn't it take a couple of months to do this? Pardon me? A couple of months to do it? Or, the or, curators themselves, I think going through all of the photos and, 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 and everything, that was their process. I came in at the very end and helped, helped hang it. Well, the room has the spirit of a lot of people. Yeah. And once you add art to it, that spirit is enhanced by so much. And speaking of art, I understand this is a friend of yours? This is a friend of mine. Tell me about your friend. Okay, so St. Crep is actually um, the basis paper mache, but my family's Flemish, and I wanted to do an homage to uh, parade craft from Europe. And basically, she's made out of jute, which is a kind of rope, and paper mache, and a kind of a, 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 a pummel paste. That's that, a very interesting medium to work with those different well, I have a reason. I know you do. I'm actually a model maker, and I usually work in resin and um, different types of more toxic materials. But because of the pandemic, I couldn't get PPE. So I had to transfer to really... Something you can get. Yeah, yeah. And you can get glue, and you can get paper. So all these things were actually in your basement at home, and you decided to make something out of it. Something like that. Something like that? Yeah. And, uh, and you know, ingenuity, right? Does it have a name? Uh, uh, this is Saint Gret, and it's Saint what? Saint Gret, G R E T, and she is based on a painting by Brussels, or, or Bruegel rather. We'll edit that in post. Do the, eye, do the eyes wink at us? <laughs> they feel like they do because there are mirrors inside the eyes, and that's a taxi. Are you recording me standing here? Is that what you're doing? Yes. Oh my goodness. Actually, that would be a great thing to do, have people come up and just hear the comments about everything. Well, so how do you feel having the doors open with people coming in now? Pardon me? How do you feel the doors being open and you're now, you're now here? We're all a family now. This is true. This is true. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you for chatting with me for a while. Thank you for the work that you're doing and that you're going to continue to do. And I'll, I'll run it to you later, my friend. Okay, now uh, go mingle. Thank you. Thank you for your time. All right, folks, I had a chance to chat with some people. The room is filling up. I'm going to stay and take a couple of pictures. Stay with me. Don't go away. All right, folks, I'm just giving you a complete visual, turning around, giving you the whole, the whole spot so you can see it all. But what I'm going to do now, I did some interviews, I did some chatting, and I'm going to stay around and take a couple of pictures so people can get a chance to get some close-ups of that too. Again, we are welcoming the brand new location, and they still have the other one, at uh, on Brooklyn Avenue, I think it's 621, and we're celebrating also the 25th anniversary, which I understand is all year long, so like I always say, Support art in Montclair. It's one of the big backbones of everything. So look for me. I will be coming around your neighborhood real soon. Until we meet again, my name is Wayne Robbins. I'll see you next time inside Montclair.